and say let's start this program and we begin with these young ones so that we can shape their future we come up with a generation that is patriotic that love themselves and love the country a generation that is ready to serve without any reservation to serve their people with all the dedication and love a generation that's ready to sacrifice for their country and when I saw the commitment in the parade, that was my first, my, my first uh, happiness that these guys from the energy I was seeing, they are ready. Related by what they see on television, ETC, ETC. Most of these kids grow up on television watching cartoons and by the time they are 10, 12, they are cartoons themselves. <laughs> And they, are, they are trying to imitate the cartoons in their daily life. You know? And what you imitate, what you aspire, what you see, in most cases transforms you to be that very thing. These guys need to be directed to avoid some of the life excesses which results into death into misbehavior and the failure to complete their school. Expected to work hard and produce wealth for themselves, to be prosperous. Even at your level, we expect that when you go back home and you are not at school, you engage in gainful work. Do some business, do some agriculture, and produce wealth. A patriot is not expected to be a drunkard, for example. I know that some secondary school kids have taken to alcohol. By the time they are in university, you find them admitted in Butavika because of taking too much water. And smoking marijuana, eating kuba, they are common in secondary school. But if you engage yourself in such at such a, a, a tender age, it destroys your future. So worry about academics. We have seen people who have got a, 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 eh? quadruple A, physics, chemistry, biology, what? But they are dangerous people in society. <laughs> we have seen cases of boyfriends killing girlfriends. And you find the boyfriend is a medical doctor, but he has killed the girlfriend, taking away the life of your girlfriend because of a small mistake. And this is your daughter, this is your son. And for you, you are happy that I have five graduates in my home. 
governors, they are ministers, they are big people, they are generals. Very soon, very soon. And there's no question about that. <laughs> but younger people, let me tell you, when I was at school, people used to take life for granted. When I was at school, I want you to quote this. Young people who take life for granted. Love making. Posing around. A lot of money, about pocket money. Confusing their parents. When I meet them today, some of them hide from me. <laughs> but the same. There are private schools in this country that are letting us down. That's why me, I believe in the traditional schools. But schools where you find the pocket money is one million. Where you find the cases of food. Someone has a case, a suitcase, full of food, of junk food. And he's proud because he's from a rich family. That's nonsense.